Mr. Mike Trainer. What's up, guys? All right, Hollywood. Mm, let's get something out of the way right away, folks. Some people see me, they think I'm a fat guy. I'm not. No, no, sir. I just find a lot of shit delicious. That's all these things. Um, I like to eat the shitty food. That's what's pleasurable to my palate. I will eat a big bag of some shitty food, eat it till it's gone, then flip it over, then read the nutritional information. That's the order I do shit in. It's when you find out the bag of combos you just say was supposed to be split between you and like eight other people, though. <laughs> Shit! Nine servings of combos I ate! Who the fuck is combos kidding? That bag does not reseal. You were not eating that in installments. <laughs> and you were not splitting it with eight friends, because you eat combos, you don't have eight friends! <laughs> Life's just not working out. Nine servings of anything is too much. Forget that it's even combos, though. That is just gross. You eat nine servings of something, you're not even a human being at that point. You're just a big stupid giant. Vintages. Bring me nine servings of your finest pretzels. Hollowed out, then filled with a cheese-like substance that's never been refrigerated. When combined, the final product will taste like pepperoni pizza. Bring it to me, I'm a giant. Giant sounds better than fat fuck, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> I am a giant, I'm a big man. I am 6'4, I got big feet, big hands, belly, pretty big. This stands completely average though, what the fuck is that all about? I'm literally not using any of this other big stuff, and so I care about. I'm lazy, I'm uncoordinated, and I smoke weed now and again. I'm not exactly shooting hoops at the Y. The ladies, don't worry. I said average, not small. Big difference. Big difference. It's not a deal breaker. No girl's ever seen this and been like, well, what the hell is this all about? No! I hang out with a big stupid ass all night and this is the penis thing, so I got no good, sir. You better have another one next to it like a shark. Sharks have two dicks. That might not, I might have just made that up. I don't know. Um, sounds like something that could be true. But I didn't get good grades. What does that make me? Loser? All right, thanks. Uh, me and my buddies would play, uh, this is how dumb my friends are. We would play drinking games, but we would make up our own drinking games. And we would play the games that didn't require a lot of rules or hand-eye coordination. No beer pong, no thank you. We would play Now You Drink. It's a good game. You play it too, dude? Yeah, man. We would fucking just sit there. It's all guys that play this game, by the way. It speaks highly of women. They don't want anything to do with this game. Two, three in the morning, girls no longer an option for the evening. The guys are in a circle on dirty sofas usually. Usually something in the middle, it might not be a coffee table, but it's something you're using as a coffee table. Milk crates, giant spool, unconscious guy with a dick drawn on his face, something's in the middle. And everyone's just pointing at each other. Now you drink. Now you drink. Ah, you got me, that's the whole game, guys! You play that for like three hours at least, but then it eventually branches off into other things. Other things like, now you piss on something. <laughs> now you call your ex-girlfriends, be so funny. <laughs> a lot of those guys by day play a game called Now You Live With Your Mom, so just... <laughs> yeah, I don't have kids, so I don't care. It's probably in everyone's best interest, I think. <laughs> Are the parents here? Parents, make some noise. Parents, come here. Okay. Now people without kids make some noise. That shit, that shit never gets old. I love, I love being a scientist. Which group has more fun? Let's find out. Let's see who can make more noise. Yeah, that's how you throw that. I got nieces and nephews, that's all I'm up for. I like the nieces and nephews. I like going to baseball games. I like teaching little kids how to curse. But I'm not paying for all the shit, what's for you? Coolest nephew of the bunch, four-year-old Jack. Cool motherfucker. I love Jack, but I was hanging out with him one time, immediately out of my league, because he starts screaming, help, oh my, help. I come running around the corner, he is sitting on the toilet. Pants around his ankles. Help! It won't come out! <laughs> <laughs> I 
I just walked out of there. I didn't even say that. I just walked out of there. Uncle should never see that. His mom freaking tapped out. She took care of it. I guess she gave him a wooden spoon to bite on. What the fuck do you do? All I can think like is his little arms and legs couldn't even dig in. That's all I would think to tell him. He was just dangling there with a raccoon tail, people. Goodness, guys, this has been fun. I've, I've been traveling. It's so nice to be here in California. I've been traveling, though, and you know what? I, I eat like shit. And everywhere you go has got a local specialty they want me to try. I'm always like, okay, went to Chicago. Gotta get that deep dish pizza. It's delicious. I eat it every time. Went to Memphis. They got ribs. They got barbecue. I said, okay. I went from Memphis, whatever. <laughs> then I went to West Virginia. Had to try that crystal meth. It is very good. <laughs> They make it with mesquite, and uh... <laughs> you know what the worst part about traveling for me is? You always gotta crash with family and friends, at least I do. And uh, like, do you remember when you would crash with family and friends in the worst place they'd give you in the whole house? The absolute worst you could do would be some type of couch or a fold-out couch. That was the worst you could do. It's gotten much worse. <laughs> Everyone went out to Target the last five years, and they made it way worse because they all went out and bought a inflatable fucking bed. Those piece of shits. Invented by a dickhead entrepreneur on a pool raft. No one who freaking owns those things ever sleeps on it. It's only their asshole friends and family that are in town. The inflatable bed is right up there with the inflatable lady when it comes to replicating the real experience. I don't know the here too good. When both of them are naked on the floor with your dick in your hand, that's just how we sleep. Here's what I do. Here's the move. If anyone ever gets stuck with the inflatable bed again, here's what you do. You don't inflate it right away. You wait till 3, 4 in the morning. You <laughs> After you complain some now, you drink right outside Grandma's bedroom. <laughs> Alright guys, 